Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. Sri Lanka is set to launch one of its significant hydropower projects next week. The hydropower station constructed under the Uma Oya Multipurpose Development Project in Karadagolla of the Badunda district is ready to generate electricity. The power station is one of the components of the entire project. The Uma Oya project starts off with the construction of two dams, one of them across Uma Oya and the other across a tributary at Valimada. The water is then transferred from the two reservoirs through an underground tunnel spanning a distance of 15.6 kilometers. The Iranian company FARAB and the Central Engineering Consultancy Bureau in Sri Lanka have been working together to complete the power project. The production of 120 megawatts of power is one of the main objectives. In addition, irrigating over 20,000 hectares of land and providing water to the proposed industrial zone in Hambantota are among other objectives. The underground power station with two turbines of 60 megawatts each would be operating four hours per day. One of the significant features is the vertical tunnel with a drop of 618 meters. The technique has helped to generate additional power with the limited water. The Uma Oya project has been confronted with many challenges. Chief Resident Engineer Priyankanana and Kara explaining the challenges said one of them was the leak in the tunnel from Valimada to Karandagolla. This leak was first observed under Bandaravela town in the populated areas. Cracks in houses appeared. Water levels dropped as a result. According to engineer Nana Kara, the original leak was 1,400 litres per second. It was subsequently reduced to 300 litres per second through a pressurised grouting system. The tunnel was declared as stable by the geologists and experts thereafter. The project director engineer DCS Alakanda said the project encountered several challenges. The first was the funding issue. The project was originally funded by Iran's Export Development Bank and involved a commitment of 450 million US dollars. Hardly had the first installment arrived. Tehran was compelled to stop due to sanctions imposed by the United States government. Only a sum of 79 million US dollars was to form the local funding. This is when there were fears that the project may have to be called off. However, the government was determined. Hence, it was decided that funds from the treasury will be utilized and work will go ahead. The other issues have been the payment of compensation to those affected by the project. The compensation payment still continues. Drinking water is still being distributed to selected villages. However, engineer Alakanda believes that the issues would resolve with the groundwater level rising. What had to be completed in five years had dragged on, but eventually the power generation is getting underway, reaping the economic benefits, he said. It is the power station which water. During the last few weeks alone, already 800 million rupees worth of electricity has been generated, according to engineer Alakanda. 
The Umaoya Downstream Development Project is the next phase of the project. The water made use for power generation flows into the Alikota Ara tank and then used to irrigate existing as well as new lands in Vallabaya, Tanamalvila and Hambantota. The downstream development project is already in progress with some of them receiving the benefits. Lands cultivated for one season is now being cultivated in both the Yala and the Maha seasons. <laughs>